All right, so what we've got on tap today is a day ride, kind of an out and back loop. Uh, it's Sunday morning, 7.30 a.m. in the later half of May here in Minnesota. The route today is going to be two lane up to Itasca State Park and the headwaters of the Mississippi River. Uh, it's really a beautiful park. It's uh, There's a really fantastic wilderness loop road. I think it, it's about 10 miles, about a 10 mile loop if I remember correctly. And it's uh, one lane, the majority of it. So it's a really narrow one lane road through the uh, pines. And um, it's just very scenic and uh, really a nice, uh, a nice loop. And that's up in the park. Uh, so from where I am now, it's uh, just under 190 miles up. So I plan to ride up uh, here this morning. Should take three, three and a half hours. Do the uh, loop. Maybe take a picture, shoot some video. Uh, maybe eat a snack. And then head back home. Probably get home late afternoon. So the weather is uh, gorgeous. It's, it's just going to be a beautiful day. It should be sunny all day long. The current temp is 45, so it's a little chilly. I've got the grips on high, and I do have my heated liner on as well. So that's the plan. I'm uh, going to exit the interstate here in uh, five, five miles or so. This is the downtown area. Well, I guess downtown used loosely, uh, but this is Monticello, Minnesota. Here's the main old old city drag. And this is the first time we are crossing the Mississippi for today. We'll cross it, uh, get around St. Cloud or Sartell. Uh, not going to have much of a view here. But that's the Mississippi. We're just in the northwest metro of the Twin Cities. And where we're heading today, the uh, the headwaters, it's, uh, it's kind of cool. It comes out of Lake Itasca is where they have determined the, the, the source to be. And it kind of flows out of the lake <laughs> as a little creek, kind of a trickle. And uh, obviously ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. And there have been a number of folks that have actually canoed down the, uh, down the river from the headwaters all the way to the Gulf. A number of people do that every year, apparently. It takes a few months. I can imagine that would certainly be an adventure. Over here to the left is a, a state prison. And it's, a, I can't remember the history of it, it's 120 years old or so. They used uh, inmate labor to build it, but it's, it's got a, probably a 15 or 18 foot stone wall all the way around it with these turrets on the corners. A prison originally built as a reformatory built by the inmates using granite they quarried themselves. The very profit-driven reason the legislature chose this site. That granite wall, by the way, the longest in the world, is not the only layer of security anymore. All right, I've been on the road a little under two hours, probably an hour and 50 minutes. Making good time. The weather's uh, nice, clear sky. It's not a cloud in the sky. It's warmed up a bit to 52 degrees. Just got a little gas and had to make a bathroom stop. <clears throat> And, of course, the bike is running like a Swiss watch. I think I'm about 30 miles from the park. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful day. You know, when you've been, when you've done 150 miles in the chilly 40s and low 50s, it's nice to get off and get inside and warm up a bit because it gets you out of the chilly uh, wind. Because it's really not chilly. I mean, standing here, I'm, I'm a little warm. But once the air starts hitting you, it tends to take the heat out. Wow. Didn't see. 
see that fella. Here we go, Itasca State Park. It's kind of eerie when these pine trees kind of lean over the road. History of the park it was uh, really constructed and built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the early well during the the decade of the 30s um, and the core volunteers uh, not volunteers I guess you know employees the young people young men who uh, who were in the CCC at the time planted millions of trees um, throughout Minnesota and, and but particularly here in the park uh, birch and pine primarily so a lot of these pine trees that we see throughout the park were planted by uh, by the CCC uh, and they of course built some structures there's a um, pavilion at the rec, rec area that we'll see up the road a bit this uh, the road and the, this tour through the park is wonderful. The speed limit's 30, so it, you don't go uh, spooling up through here. Um, but just to kind of get get out into the woods a little bit on the bike, um, it's uh, it's a nice ride. I mean, it's certainly you're not going to get the density of forest, uh, you know, right up against the shoulder of the roads uh, anywhere anywhere else. I think I'm going to take a detour through the campground because I have not been through here and I, I want to kind of scout out a couple sites and see uh, see what kind of campsites are available. Hi there. Can I take a tour through to scout out some sites? Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, are there a lot of people back here this morning? Pretty quiet. Okay. I don't... Um, this is Bearpaw. That's back across the road that way. Okay. Look in the lake. And then this is Pine Ridge. It's about a mile up that way. So, and I'm headed to Pine Ridge here. Usually good for... I don't remember exactly what the trees are. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, you can check those out. I'll go do that. Awesome. Great. Hey, thank you. No, yeah, I just came up for the day, um, and so when I'm going out and hitting the parks, what I try to do is go through and scout out some sites because it does, and because I, you know, last year I switched to a hammock, and which is awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm sleeping in the hammock in the backyard. I mean, it is, yeah. So anyway, uh, the worst thing is to get out on a trip and you get to your site and man I got nowhere to hang the, the hammock <laughs> well thank you and have a good day thank you okie doke scouted out the campground uh, got a couple prospects and it's 12 o'clock 66 degrees I think what I'll do is get up to the recreation area there's a uh, Quite a few picnic tables and shade trees and lakeside uh, lounging. I'll stop there and uh, grab a quick bite to eat. And then from there, um, try to go visit the headwaters. Little headwaters, uh, just short walk from the headwaters visitor center area.
June, July, April, May. Alright, I just left the Headwaters Visitor Center. This is Wilderness Park Drive. It's the western side of the uh, loop through the park. And um, up a ways here, it will turn into a one lane uh, paved asphalt road. It's currently 1.15 in the afternoon and 68 degrees. That's a pretty view. Well, I hope you enjoyed the ride up here today. Thanks for watching. Hope it was somewhat entertaining, informational. And if I don't come back on between here and the house, Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.